After the signing of this deal, we now know that there is just going to be way too many batteries in 2030. So many that it will become a huge problem. Now, who would have thought that this would happen? However, if I told you that a massive Chinese battery company has now been approved to build two of the biggest battery factories in the United States, and it will be able to undercut all of the competition because of its proprietary lithium ion phosphate technology, what would you think about that? When this factory is built in North America, in fact, in the United States, it will be by far the biggest lithium ion phosphate battery factory in the US, and it will be owned by a Chinese company. Apparently, America is okay with that, but they're not, they're not okay with Ford licensing Chinese technology to build their own factory in the US. Seems like a very weird double standard. Anyway, here are the details behind this deal. Is this selling your soul of the devil or is this just a very logical decision from this US state? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Got to say welcome to all those new subscribers. It's great to have you guys. Welcome back, everyone else. And let's have a look at this deal. Now, Goshon High Tech, they are one of the biggest battery makers in the world. Around about the seventh biggest battery company right now, Chinese battery company. There's two other bigger Chinese battery companies in China. But Goshon High Tech do have an interesting tie up with the Volkswagen Group. In fact, the Volkswagen Group now owned 25% of Goshon. So I don't know if there's some sort of backroom deals going on here between the Volkswagen Group and the US government to get this deal approved because apparently Ford are having all kinds of trouble getting their battery factory approved and we're talking Ford. Ford will own this. They'll simply be licensing technology and CHL won't have anything to do with it. So I find this very weird, but here's what we know. Here's where the biggest lithium ion phosphate battery factory will be built in the United States. After years of public and private maneuvering, Illinois is close to reeling in one of the biggest battery factories in America. A crucial step came on Tuesday, says Automotive News, when, according to local officials, the Karakee County Board approved a property tax abatement needed to lure a battery maker to a 160-acre site in Mantino, a village about 50 miles southwest of Chicago's Loop. Why are they doing this? Well, one reason is property taxes, income taxes, employment. When you hear the actual property taxes, you, you'll be quite surprised by just how much they are. Officials have declined to name the company officially, but we all know it's Goshan High Tech because these negotiations have been going on for a long time now. We know exactly who it is. We know that it's a Chinese car company, Chinese battery company, I should say. And we also know that this is a bit of an onslaught here. Why is it an onslaught? Because Goshan High Tech has also signed a deal to build another battery factory in Michigan. This is a, an, interesting, an interesting situation because do they qualify? Do these batteries qualify for US incentives? In other words, will the United States government be giving money to a primarily Chinese owned battery company as a result of this deal? Well, they will. There's no rules against external battery companies that aren't basically primarily owned in the US there's no rules against them getting incentives as long as they make batteries in the US. So they will qualify. The US government will be giving potentially hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars to this Chinese battery maker over the next foreseeable future, 5, 10, 20 years. Mentino Mayor Tim Nugent said his board and other local taxing bodies approved the abatement earlier this month after being told by the state and a company agent that the facility will create 2,600 jobs and involve more than $2 billion in investment. He said, my final decision has been made, but I'm told we're on the short list, he said. I'm hopeful. Mantino is located just over an hour's drive from Normal in Illinois, where Rivian has an electric vehicle plant and has been looking for a battery maker to set up shop nearby. 
could they supply Rivian? It's very possible. Rivian doesn't yet use lithium ion phosphate batteries. Tesla is the biggest buyer of lithium ion phosphate batteries. They use them in their standard range cars. They've been a huge success for Tesla. Tesla have had almost no problems with those battery packs, unlike, of course, their lithium ternary battery packs, which have had not too many issues, but a few. But of course, LFP have quite a number of advantages and they're much cheaper. Goshon High Tech apparently also signed a deal with Tesla to supply potentially billions of dollars of LFP batteries over the next five years. Now, that was an official court document that was actually disclosed accidentally in China. I made a video about that some time ago now. Governor J.B. Pritz's office in the area declined to comment on the project, which is covered by non-disclosure agreements. But sources close to the matter said state and local officials have put a total incentive package worth hundreds of millions of dollars on the table. Most of that will come from a $400 million deal closing fund that state lawmakers have made available to Pritzker. The Mantino site now is mostly vacant, but it does include a warehouse formerly the defunct Kmart retail chain used for distribution. Under the terms of the abatement deal, property taxes on the land will double to $2 million a year once the site is in operation, but they'd be frozen for 30 years. What that means is property taxes in say 29 years from now will be almost nothing. If you actually include the likely devaluation in that amount of money because of inflation, that'll mean that they'll be paying almost nothing on their property taxes by the time we get to say 2050. Anyhow, the project Mantino is chasing is an additional plant to Goshon's proposed Michigan factory. So this Chinese battery can massive powerhouse will have two major battery factories in North America, which will be capable more than likely of undercutting the competition. Remember LFP batteries, especially those that Gotron make, which are ultra high energy density LFP batteries are cheaper to manufacture. So they could very easily undercut American battery companies. But keep in mind though, the majority of these American battery companies are not really very American. They're joint ventures with South Korean battery makers or Panasonic, which is obviously Japanese owned. There's not a whole lot of batteries being made by only US companies today. Now, apparently the state of Michigan actually offered Goshon $715 million for their battery plant as well. So two battery plants, how many will Goshon make? I mean, what are their plans here? How will the Volkswagen Group benefit? How will Tesla benefit? What does this mean for the future of batteries in the US? I can tell you what it means. It's a big problem. It's a huge problem. In fact, this problem is so big. And the fact that no one has realized what's about to happen is truly incredible. Why? There is way too many battery factories that have been announced. There will be way too many batteries than what are needed. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Toyota have told us all that there's not enough batteries. There's not enough lithium to go around. It's impossible. I mean, we can't have all be driving EVs. It just doesn't work. But unfortunately, Toyota, well, fortunately, I should say, Toyota was 100% wrong. The truth is, if you add up all the battery factories that we have, that we know of that are planned, add those all up. Don't even include Tesla's future planned production Apparently Ford and Tesla both want to build new battery factories using lithium ion phosphate batteries as well. Licensing CATL technology, but don't even include those. If you simply include those we already know about today and you don't include any future planned battery factories that will be announced after I make this video, there's already way too many batteries. There'll be enough batteries to make around 25 million cars every single year in North America alone. The car market in North America, around 15 million per year. My friends, whoever makes the most affordable batteries, they'll be able to undercut the competition and they'll be okay. Guess who's making the most affordable batteries? A Chinese owned company. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.